what do you think? I mean, you think I can pull off the platinum blonde look? I kind of like it. Uh, it's a big change from the black, but no, this is not a hair tutorial. This is a beauty video this week. Hi everyone, it's Pina from Fashion Justice. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then a welcome to my channel for the first time. If you follow me, you know that I am all about posting videos on how to inspire you to be your most fabulous self every single time. So one of the questions that I get asked all the time is what is my favorite moisturizer and what do I use? So I'm going to tell you what I use. It works for me and hopefully it'll work for you. And the one thing I tell everybody is before you go and buy something expensive, because this is a luxury product, I would say just get a sample and just test it out and see if you love it. That is the easiest way to see if uh, this is a product that's going to work for you. So let's get to what is my favorite moisturizer and the story behind it. Ready? So, ta -da -da, this is my go-to uh, product moisturizer that I've been using ever since Charlotte came into Canada. So I guess that's, gosh, maybe three years ago now. I have not really used anything else. Uh, so I don't even think about it. When I finish one of these jars, I just purchase another one. Um, it is by far one of my favorite products. Now I will tell you why and the story behind it. So this is the product upon which her brand was built. And I read somewhere it's the bedroom upon which the brand was built, which is absolutely right. So Charlotte Tilbury, who I absolutely love because I will tell you, she is, uh, it's not like one of these big companies, which uh, I'm sure she's huge and she's got money behind her, obviously to have expanded the way she did. But she is the face of her brand. And so she's all about Hollywood celebrity. She was a Hollywood celebrity uh, makeup artist. Now she used to do a lot of the runway shows and she would be hydrating the models in between the shows because as you can imagine, the lights are uh, so overpowering and it's really hot when you're doing shows. She concocted this on her own. So she was uh, giving it to models and they loved it so much that they kept asking her for it. And so she basically turned this into a commercial product, launched her line with this one product and it is called the Magic Cream. Now, is it really magic and why do I love it? Now, I do think that she is quite the genius or her marketing people are quite the genius when it comes to marketing her products and her brand uh, because as I said, she is the face behind the product and she does all kinds of YouTube videos. She actually does the tutorials. She does um, all the make, all the celebrities and a lot of her lipsticks and her products uh, are really inspired by many of the celebrities. And the smart thing about that is that everybody wants to uh, be a celebrity and feel like they're using the same products they are. So that really is, I think, the genius behind the marketing. She's all about Hollywood-inspired beauty. The packaging is amazing. Her packaging is all about um, how beautiful your product is going to look sitting on your vanity table. I'm so obviously the packaging is spectacular. It's got a rose gold uh, cover and it really looks like a 1920s sort of uh, Hollywood glam. But obviously the packaging is not sufficient in order to get my attention as much as I adore great packaging. That in and of itself is not enough. So number one, yes, the packaging works, but number two, the reason I love it is because it is super duper moisturizing and it will really last, for me anyway, it lasts the whole day. And I do not have oily skin. I tend to have uh, dry to normal skin uh, and it hydrates my skin all day long. Now, the magic behind this product is simply this. When you apply this, you need to apply the foundation over it right away. And the two together work very seamlessly in giving you a very sort of blurry, almost looks like an Instagram filter type of a look. 
So on days that you're not going to be wearing foundation, maybe you don't need to, you, you can wear something like a little bit cheaper. Uh, but if you're wearing makeup and you wear makeup every day, this is absolutely a spectacular product. So the other reason I love it, it actually acts as a primer. It is so moisturizing that you don't actually need a serum so you don't need to apply a serum underneath your moisturizer because it is so intensely hydrating it kind of reminds me a little bit of the la mer and i used to use that years ago it is super duper expensive so yeah this is a luxury product although it is not as expensive as a la mer for example uh, but it is amazing and I also really love this brand I, I'm gonna do tons of other videos on a lot of her products because when I look at my vanity I realize I have so many of her products there's rose gold packaging everywhere but what's really kind of important uh, to me anyway as a brand is I feel like when I I'm using this product and I love it I just feel like I know the person behind it and Charlotte is all over the place so that to me makes a big difference because I feel a certain connection to the product to the brand and she is so intensely passionate about what she does so if you see any YouTube videos with Charlotte doing somebody's makeup or talking about her products she really puts her uh, heart and soul into it. So this is what the cream looks like. It's just just a white cream. And um, you will scoop it out with a Q-tip. So the cons are that it comes in this jar, therefore a little problematic because of the bacteria, number one. Number two, yeah, it's a luxury product, and I'm so sorry to say that it's kind of expensive. This jar is $120 Canadian. In the US, this would be $100, so not very cheap. Um, and then the other thing is it smells like roses a little bit. If you don't like the rose smell, then maybe you're not gonna love it. Now, even for me though, these for me personally, these cons are not enough to turn me off the product. I just want you to know what you're getting into. Again, pick up a sample and check it out and see if you like it. So I hope that that was a helpful, helpful video for you. And if you have any questions about this product, please leave it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you maintain a fabulous, beautiful skin all the time with or without this product. Take care of yourself. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a two thumbs up. I will see you here next week for some more beauty tips, tricks on how to be your fabulous best self each and every time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you here next week. Mwah. Till next time. Oh, did I ask you to click on the link below to subscribe to my channel? Don't forget to click if you are interested in fabulosity every single week. Thank you. See you next week.